the most powerful weapon of the 21st century has just been activated. It isn't a secret code. It isn't a silent drone. It's a number. A number so powerful, it's about to render every gas station on the planet obsolete. A number that will tear down a hundred-year-old industry piece by piece. That number is 500. And what happens when it's fully unleashed will change the world forever. If you're ready for the future, prove it. Hit that like button and subscribe to Drevexa right now. To understand the power of 500 miles, you first have to face the dragon, the one that lives in the back of every EV driver's mind. It's that nagging voice, that cold knot in your stomach. A fear not just of being stranded, but of losing your freedom. That feeling that the car owns you, not the other way around. Can you take that beautiful winding detour? Can you find that remote trailhead? Can you visit family in the next state without mapping your life around charging stops? For years, the answer was a nervous maybe. A maybe that felt more like a no. This anxiety was the EV skeptic's ultimate weapon. And it worked. But the 500-mile range doesn't just fight this dragon, it slays it. For the first time, it puts the EV on the exact same level as a gas car. You might not know this, but the average new gas car gets about 413 miles on a tank. By clearing that hurdle, the 500-mile EV achieves something critical. It makes the electric car feel normal. Think about how this number just erases the worry from your life. Your daily commute? You could go for two weeks straight on one single charge. The weekly trip to the pump? It vanishes, replaced by a simple plug-in at home once in a while. That 200-mile weekend getaway? It becomes a thoughtless affair. You just go, drive there, cruise around all weekend, and drive back with miles to spare, never once looking for a public charger. Even the classic American road trip is reborn. L.A. to Vegas? You'll do it on a fraction of a charge. A massive haul from Chicago to New York? Now it's just one quick stop for a bite and a charge. Not a journey dictated by a network of plugs. This fundamentally flips the script. The question in your head is no longer, will my car make it? It becomes, where do I want to go? And that feeling of limitless freedom is what this is all about. If you agree, hit that like button. This isn't just about adding more miles. It's about getting your peace of mind back. For the first time, for everyone, the electric car just feels right. So how do you actually build a car that can shatter the 500-mile barrier? You might think the answer is simple. Just stuff a bigger, heavier battery inside. But that brute force approach just creates a clumsy, inefficient monster. No, the real journey to 500 miles is smarter. It's a masterclass in engineering, a perfect symphony of next-generation tech working in concert. First, you have to reinvent the heart of the machine, the battery itself. The race is on for the holy grail, energy density, packing more power into less space. The first breakthrough? It's all about silicon. Imagine swapping out the standard graphite in a battery cell for silicon anodes. Instantly, you can cram in up to 30% more energy. It's a massive leap forward. But the real game changer, the tech everyone from Toyota to QuantumScape is chasing, is the solid state battery. Picture it no flammable liquid, just a solid block of power. The benefits are transformative. More energy, dramatically faster charging, and far, far safer. This isn't just the key to 500 miles. It's the doorway to 600, even 700 miles in the near future. This level of innovation is incredible, and if you think so too, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button for Drevexa. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Now, having powerful cells isn't enough. You have to be a genius about how you package them. Pioneers like Tesla and BYD are throwing out the old rule book. Instead of cells, inside modules, inside a pack, they put the cells directly into the pack. Or even crazier, they make the battery itself part of the car's skeleton. Less weight, 
less complexity, and more room for what really matters, power. But even the most advanced battery is useless if the car is just wasting that energy. It has to be an athlete, and its first enemy is the air itself. Autolakers are now obsessed with aerodynamics. The Lucid Air, for example, slices through the wind with a drag coefficient of just 0.197, making it one of the slipperiest cars on the planet. Every smooth curve, every retractable door handle is a weapon in the fight for more miles. The final piece of the puzzle is perfect harmony. When a company designs its own motors, its own inverters, its own software, everything just works better. It's a closed loop of efficiency, ensuring every last electron is used to push you forward, not wasted as heat. It's this total control that separates the good from the great. The arrival of the 500-mile EV doesn't just change the car. It changes the entire energy map. Now, you might think that more range means we need more public chargers on every corner, but the reality is far more surprising. The very nature of how you refuel is about to be completely rewritten. Think about it. For a car with a short leash, public chargers are a lifeline, an absolute necessity. But for a 500-mile beast, they become an occasional convenience, a backup plan you rarely need. Why? Because your garage is now your primary gas station. With a battery that handles your driving for weeks, you'll plug in at home maybe once or twice a week. You'll wake up every morning to a full tank for a tiny fraction of the cost of gas. The public network suddenly becomes less important for your daily life. So what happens to those chargers? They don't disappear. They evolve. They become ultra-fast electric oases on major highways. 350-kilowatt monsters that can pump 200 miles of range into your car in the 15 minutes it takes you to grab a coffee. The slow chargers you see at the mall, they might just become a thing of the past. But here's where the story gets truly insane. Imagine millions of these massive batteries sitting silent in garages all across the country. Is that a terrifying challenge for the power grid? Or is it the greatest opportunity in a century? This is where a revolutionary technology comes into play. Vehicle to grid, or V2G. Your car is no longer just a machine that consumes energy. With V2G, it becomes a mobile power plant. That battery in your 500-mile EV can power your entire home for two or three days straight. During a blistering summer heat wave, when the grid is about to buckle, utility companies can pull a little bit of power from your car and pay you for it. It helps prevent blackouts. And all that solar and wind power that gets wasted when it's too sunny or too windy, your car becomes a giant energy sponge, soaking it all up and releasing it back when the grid needs it most. This technology is a complete game changer, and we're going to be covering it a lot more. So make sure you're subscribed to Dervaxa with notifications on. This isn't just a car anymore. It's an active, crucial part of a smarter, cleaner, and more resilient world. A technological leap of this magnitude doesn't just create new gadgets. It reorders the entire world. It draws a line in the sand, creating clear winners and permanent losers. The 500-mile EV is the final acceleration. The first battlefield? The car industry itself. This is legacy versus new blood, a final showdown. The automakers who have mastered the deadly combination of battery tech, software, and brutal efficiency will own the future. You see companies like Tesla, BYD, and Lucid, they were built for this. But the old guard, the giants who are still stuck thinking in terms of engines and pistons instead of batteries and code, they are standing on the edge of a cliff. They risk becoming the Nokias, the blockbusters of our time, relics in a museum. Who do you think will survive? Drop your predictions in the comments below. This disruption will even split the used car market in two. Older, short-range EVs will become cheap, affordable city cars. But this will create a new world of technological haves 
and have-nots. But the true shock wave comes when this range liberation breaks beyond the passenger car. You can now conquer segments we once thought were impossible. Think about long-haul trucking. The biggest hurdle was always range. But as the tech gets better, the math finally works. The Tesla Semi isn't a dream. It's a promise of silent, efficient logistics that will save industries billions. Or imagine the ultimate adventure, the electric RV, total freedom off-grid with a massive battery that can power your entire campsite for days. No noisy generator, just the sounds of nature. If that idea gets you excited, show some support and smash that like button. And with every winner, there must be a loser. The most obvious victim, the gas station. As you and millions of others make the switch, the demand for gasoline enters a terminal decline. It's a slow death sentence. For the thousands of gas stations that dot our landscape, the future is bleak. Some will adapt, becoming charging hubs with coffee and food, but many, especially in quiet rural areas, will simply become obsolete ghosts of a fossil-fueled past. You are about to witness one of the biggest shifts in business and real estate in a hundred years. The world is changing right before your eyes. But this road to an electric future isn't paved in perfect asphalt. Solving the range problem creates a whole new set of shadows, complex issues we have to face. You can't cheat physics. A bigger battery is a heavier battery. We're talking about cars that can easily weigh over 5,000 pounds, and that extra wheat has consequences. It creates a vicious cycle. A heavier car needs more energy just to move itself, so you need an even bigger battery to compensate for the weight of the battery. The true mark of genius isn't just raw range, it's efficiency. The car that hits 500 miles with a smaller, lighter battery is the real winner. And there's a hidden polluter. Heavier cars shred through tires faster, releasing harmful particles into the air we breathe. We've eliminated the tailpipe, but we've created a new problem to solve. Then there's the elephant in the room, the raw materials. A world of 500-mile EVs needs a staggering amount of lithium, cobalt, and nickel. These resources are concentrated in just a few places on Earth, creating fragile supply chains and intense geopolitical tension. The only sustainable path forward, a rock-solid, closed-loop recycling system. A dead EV battery isn't trash. It's an urban gold mine packed with valuable materials. We have to build an industry that can recover and reuse everything. This isn't just about the environment, it's a matter of national security. And finally, the hurdle that matters most to you. For this revolution to be real, it has to be affordable. A six-figure luxury sedan is a great headline, but it doesn't change the world. The real challenge, the final boss fight for the entire industry, is putting this tech into a family car you can actually buy. So, what does all this mean? The 500-mile EV isn't the finish line. It's the starting gun for a new race. It marks the exact moment the electric car stops being a compromise and becomes the undisputed successor to the age of oil. By finally killing range anxiety, it unlocks the door for everyone. The challenges of cost, weight, and resources are real, but they are engineering problems, not dead ends. The focus of the brightest minds is already shifting. The next frontier isn't 600 or 700 miles. It's a lighter, more efficient, more affordable car. The real holy grail is a $25,000 EV with 400 miles of range that can power your home and is built from a battery that's 95% recycled. When we look back years from now, we will see the 500-mile EV as the catalyst, the single piece of technology that finally broke our addiction to fossil fuels and paved a quieter, cleaner road ahead. The tank is full. And for the first time, the horizon feels truly limitless. Thank you for joining us on this journey.
If you want to stay ahead of the curve on the future of electric vehicles, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We're just getting started.